Well, my dear students, the course is Labor Policy Pakistan and the topic in hand is Introduction to Pakistan Labor Policy 2010. Dear students, social and economic well-being of the people is one of the principal objectives of the present people's government. Labor policies should also aim in attaining the objectives in a manner best suited to the resources of the country and the present state of economy as a matter of fact, my dear students. There is an urgent need to revitalize the economy required sustained efforts to increase the level of productivity, promotion of investment and maximization of employment in, a, in the country. Dear students, with all these things, there is an equally genuine requirement to create among workers and employers a better awareness of their obligations to the national objectives mentioned earlier. इसके साथ साथ जो गवर्नमेंट है उसका इस चीज पर भी फोकस है और वो रेकग्नाइज करती है कि वर्कर्स एंड एम्प्लॉयर्स मस्ट इंजॉय रीजनेबल बेनिफिट्स एज कैन बी सस्टेन्ड बाय द इकोनॉमी विदाउट सफरिंग सेटबैक्स माय डी स्टूडेंट्स कीपिंग दीज प्रायोरिटीज इन व्यू द गवर्नमेंट कंसिडर्स दैट अ बैलेंस्ड लेबर पॉलिसी should be based on the following objectives number 1 workers right to form unions and unions should be protected and 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 an institutional framework be made available to foster close cooperation between workers and employers at establishment level the second Objective or parameter is equitable adjustment of rights between workers and employers should be ensured in an atmosphere of harmony mutually beneficial to the workers and the management. The third point is, my dear students, consultation between workers and employers on matter of interest to the establishment and welfare of workers should be made more effective. The fourth point of the policy is adequate security of jobs should be available to the workers and there should be expeditious redressal of their grievances. The fifth point of the policy is, my dear students, conditions should be created that workers and employers are committed in enhancing the labor productivity. The next point, my dear student, is promotion to higher jobs be ensured at all levels based on suitability and merit and for this purpose, arrangements should be made for in-service training facilities. The seventh point is, my dear students, facilities for proper matching of job opportunities and the job seekers. The other two very important points are provisions relating to the employment of children to be strictly adhered to and be enforced. What a point as a matter of fact. Therefore, my dear students, the labor policy has accordingly been divided into four parts. That is legal framework, advocacy, rights of workers and employers, skill development and employment, and manpower export. For further detail, you may go to the Wikipedia or the Investopedia or the Concerned Labor Law websites. Thank you very much indeed.